This isn't AI. It's not guessing your next rep or tracking you through a camera. It's a motorized training partner that kicks in when you've got nothing left. It's loud, it's industrial, and it lets you push past failure. This is the Persist Power Assist, and today we're testing my favorite mode, Assist to Negatives. It's the one that really shows you what this system can do when you hit failure. I met the guy who built this, Chris O'Connor, at Home Gym Con. I tried it there, expecting another cable gimmick, and instantly realized this was something different. Chris isn't a marketing guy, he's an engineer. He built what's basically a mechanical training partner, precision driven, no fluff, no algorithms. This does exactly what you tell it to do. We kept talking after Home Gym Con, a few emails, a Zoom call, a few months later, this showed up in my living room gym. So we're gonna put my favorite mode to the test and see if you can really push past failure. Before we get into how this thing was built, make sure you're subscribed because the next few weeks are going to be wild. We've got the new Mikolo Anubis Ultimate 2.0 showing up, a redesign that's basically their statement piece. And right after that, we're testing the GetRx Viper, which sits just 13 inches off the wall, reducing the space you need for a serious cable setup. If you love seeing smart design and heavy training collide, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this lineup. When Jeff first told me about Chris O'Connor, I wanted to know who was wild enough to build something like this from scratch. Chris told us the name Persist comes from two words, persistence and system. Persistence is the lifter's mindset, pushing through failure. System is the engineering behind it. That mix, grit and precision, runs through everything about this setup. He's an engineer, not a marketer. He spent years rolling bars off his chest in his home gym after failed presses and finally said, there has to be a better way. So he built one. The Power Assist uses a motorized winch and encoder system to control the load with absolute consistency. When you set your range and mode, it repeats that motion perfectly, every rep of that set. No AI, no guesswork, just pure mechanics. We're running a trial unit. It has a slightly lower capacity winch than the production version, but everything else is the same. We did receive it for free, but this isn't sponsored. We're keeping it, using it, and giving Chris direct feedback while we help tell his story. The system isn't perfect yet. And honestly, perfect's an unfair word. It works exactly as intended, and we love it. But there are a couple of small frustrations we'd like to see smoothed out in the app. For example, it'd be great to have a save user function so your settings don't disappear every time you train. And if a simple back button if you accidentally pick the wrong exercise. Chris wants that kind of feedback. He's an engineer first, and sometimes engineers get so deep in the details that they forget how the rest of us interact with it. That's where we come in. Bridging that gap between the garage lab and the living room gym. And that's what we love about Persist. Real engineering meeting real lifting. Now let's get into how we set it up. So the winch and the ECU both mount the provided Persist cross member that bolts across the top of your own rack. Ours is 100 inches tall, but Persist recommends at least an 80 inch rack for proper clearance. That cross member is the backbone of the system. It's heavy, solid, and designed to hold both components together. Once it's bolted in, you connect the wiring harness and power it up. The ECU light blinks red, which is standby. When it turns solid green, it's ready. You attach your safety tether about nine inches off the floor. That's your fail safe if anything ever binds or loses tension. Set up straight forward, but it's hands on. You'll probably sweat more tightening bolts than on your first set. When that green light clicks on and the winch starts humming, it feels alive. All of the instructions are available as PDF downloads. They're written by an engineer and they read like it. But if I can figure them out, you'll be fine. I've been a UPS driver my whole life and I still am. So if I can mount this thing solo in my living room gym, anyone can. All right, so set up in calibration. I'm just gonna kind of wing this one and run off the top of my head because I've done this about 50 times already for this video. I can't even tell how many reps I've done on this. But what you're gonna wanna do is I have it set up for incline. So you're gonna set your J cups up where you would normally set up for an incline press. 
Obviously, you're going to bring your bench in, put it about 35% incline, which is pretty much standard what people do. You're going to set it up. Obviously, you're going to have to adjust where the bar is over your eyes when you come off to do your lift. When you're setting up your, your straps, I'm using the knurling about two millimeters in on both sides, just so I know that they're both set up at the same point. So when it lifts, it lifts the bar balanced. The tether system, you want it so you can see here. Oh, that's what happens when you screw up. We'll leave that on here just so you can see what happens. What I'm trying to show you is, is that silver line up there has to be about an inch shown below the, uh, the ECU unit. That's what sets all this up and that's why that just did that. Green light's on, which means it's ready. I should have left it on standby so that wouldn't have happened. But if I come around to this side, what you would normally do to set your depth is you've got the pendant controller here. This sets your depth for when you're coming down to your chest. And it might take one or two times for you to get it exactly where you want it. It's kind of like setting up a J cup, setting up your safety spotters. If you haven't written down where it's supposed to be, you've got to fool around with it just to figure out the right spot. So what Persist does do is they do give you stickers. Like I've got an eye on the inside of my rack on both sides that says for incline where I need to set my spotters up. This is the tricky part. You need to remember how far down that pendant is from the bar. And you just make micro adjustments until it gets to where you're getting full depth and the bar's hitting your chest before it does anything. Other than that, your safety spotter down here, your safety strap, you hook it around your foot. So if the bar doesn't lift, you kick your foot forward. And what that does, it's almost the same exact thing as just doing this. It's just gonna manually lift the bar. It's gonna kick past all the systems in the ECU and just manually control the winch to lift the bar up for you, which is important while you're always gonna set your safety spotters because this is a mechanical system. It can fail. That's what these are for. So if you have to dump the bar out, you can get out from underneath it safely. All right, let's put it to work. This is assist in negatives mode, and this is where the power assist earns its name. You press the bar yourself, no help on the way up. When you reach failure, the winch senses the stall and kicks in just enough to get the bar moving again. It takes over the lift while you control the negative, that slow five second fight on the way down. It's mechanical support, not a handout. You can keep training safely past failure without dumping the bar or asking for a spot. It's loud. It's gritty, but that sound tells you it's working. That winch pull keeps the movement tight and locked in. Every time the ECU engages, you'll hear the motor wind up and feel the tension kick through the straps. It's consistent. The same pull every rep of that set. And it logs the data automatically. Time under tension, total reps, and even where you start to slow down. That's what I love about this system. It's not trying to think for you. It's not AI, it's more predictive training. It's precision. You decide the work, it helps you finish it, nothing more. Now that's how you train past failure safely, consistently, and with real feedback. If you've been following us, you know we love when smart engineering meets real world lifting. And that's exactly what this is. We'll be showing you more of what this system can do in part two, but for now, this first look says a lot about what's possible when an idea like this actually gets built. We did receive this unit for free, but this isn't sponsored. We're keeping it, using it, and giving genuine feedback as we go. We believe in small companies that take risks and innovate. And Chris O'Connor from Persist Fitness has done just that. While you're here, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss what's coming next. And check out some of the other videos on the channel to see how we mix story, training, and tech together. If you've ever wondered what an industrial spotter looks like in a living room gym, well, now you have.